Hi everyone, and welcome to Big Ideas Growing Minds. We're so happy that you are here. Please consider subscribing to the channel. Your support means the world to us. And with that out of the way, let's begin the video. Today's big idea comes from the remarkable book, Search Inside Yourself. It is written by Chade Meng Tan, one of Google's earliest engineers and a pioneer in the company when it comes to personal growth. In the book, he offers a proven method for enhancing mindfulness and emotional intelligence in life and work. The book teaches you how to increase your emotional intelligence and guides you through a series of steps that can help you become a better leader, coworker, and partner. It also shows you why mindfulness is the key to a life filled with happiness. The focal point of the book is a mindfulness-based emotional intelligence curriculum created at Google called Search Inside Yourself. Search Inside Yourself works in three steps. One, attention training. Two, self-awareness. Three, self-regulation. Let us walk you through some of the influential observations presented in the book. Part 1. Attention Training There are many ways to train your attention. The Search Inside Yourself program uses mindfulness meditation, which is really just a fancy way of saying attention training. When you go to the gym, you train your body. If you lift weights, you become stronger. If you jog, you become faster. In the same way, mindfulness meditation is training for your mind, with the purpose of becoming calmer and obtaining clarity. Chid Meng Tan jokes that meditation is like sweating at the gym, minus the sweating, and the gym. Through the practice of mindfulness meditation, you learn to control your ever-wandering attention, which is a direct path to increased calmness and a clear mind. The process of mindfulness meditation is quite simple, as illustrated in the following. The process starts with an intention, a reason for wanting to abide in mindfulness. Perhaps it is to reduce stress or to increase your well-being. After forming the intention, the next thing to do is to follow your breath. Just bring a gentle attention to the process of breathing. That is all. And as you are sitting and breathing, you may find yourself in a state of flow, simply being with your breath. With practice, this state can last a long time, but for beginners, the meditation will easily get distracted by sounds, thoughts, or physical sensations. Meng suggests a four-step plan to work with such distractions. One, acknowledge the distraction, 2. Experience it without judging or reacting. 3. If you need to react, continue maintaining mindfulness. 4. Let it go. And remember, practice is key. Mindfulness is like physical exercise. It is not sufficient to just understand the theory. Part 2. Self-awareness. This part is all about looking within yourself. Self-awareness can be defined as knowing one's internal states, preferences, resources, and intuitions. There are three emotional competencies under the sphere of self-awareness. Number one, emotional awareness, which is recognizing one's emotions and their effects, knowing where they come from and understanding how they affect your behavior. Number two, accurate self-assessment, which builds on emotional awareness and is all about knowing your strengths and limits. It goes beyond your emotions and includes insight into who you are as a human being. It asks questions like, what are my strengths and weaknesses? What are my resources and limitations? What matters to me? Number three, self-confidence, which is a strong sense of one's self-worth and capabilities. Meng suggests that there is a linear relationship between the three. Strong emotional awareness leads to more accurate self-assessment, which again leads to higher self-confidence. Part three, self-regulation. This part can be summarized in these four words, from compulsion to choice. Self-regulation is all about keeping disruptive emotions and impulses in check, maintaining high standards of honesty and integrity, taking responsibility for your personal performance, being flexible when handling change, and being open to new ideas. In order to obtain these life skills, Meng suggests adopting a set of useful mental habits. The list of exercises is quite comprehensive, so we can't mention them here. As always, we highly recommend reading the whole book, but for now, let us walk you through our favorite exercise. It is called the loving kindness practice, and it goes like this. The next time you get into conflict with someone, go to a quiet room to calm down. After a few minutes, try to visualize the other person involved in the conflict. Remind yourself that this person is just like you, wants to be free from suffering, just like you, and wants to be happy, just like you. And then wish that person wellness happiness, and freedom from suffering. After just a few minutes of doing this, you'll feel much better about yourself. 
the other person, and the whole situation. And with that, we will soon conclude this video. Let's leave you with these final reflections. Happiness is the default state of mind. So when it becomes calm and clear, it returns to being happy. That is it. There is no magic. We are simply returning the mind to its natural state. We hope you have enjoyed this video on Search Inside Yourself by Chid Meng Tan. If you did, please remember to give it a like. Take care and see you soon.